you know, like a regular four-part video sequence funnel um, could be like 35, 36 grand. It depends. It depends. But, you know, for, a, for somebody who is... For somebody who is selling a $2,000 program or a $3,000 program to pay 35 or 40 grand to have that funnel created is, you know, like we've had clients that have made their money back in the first 30 days. And now they have an asset like they could run that. If that even works for another year, look at what that's worth to them. If it only works for another year. Do you do the copy? Also? Yeah, when I do, when we do a full blown, we do, I don't want them to touch it. That's the reality. That's why, that's why the success rate of what we do is where it is because I just say, don't, I don't, you don't, don't send me anything. Just send me access to the product, right? Let me do the research. And then send me access to the product, send me access to any asset that they have that I can use, we can use for research. Um, that's what I want. But other than, you know, like, and I don't want, what I look for when, with, with an agency client is I look for the client that is like, go do your thing. That's when I'm like, I'll give you a discount. <laughs> don't call me for three weeks. You know, let us do our thing. And, um, so it's just three weeks to do the whole thing? No, it depends. Depends on what it is. I'm going to say no. The answer is that for, like, I would say a typical turnaround time for a multi-part funnel is probably like, I would say six to eight weeks, you know, closer to eight probably, only because there's a huge amount of research involved for us, right? Like, so. Now you guys write the script for the videos and now there's a client reading. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, like usually like, we'll either, we either have the client read it or if the client's not the face of the company, then we'll have a voiceover talent do it. But nine out of 10 times it's the client. So the only thing the client does is the client then t gets the script, the client records the script. Usually we'll send them a sample of the way it should be read. Remember I said earlier, voice inflection, tone, pace. This is the way, right, right, this is the way it should be read. These are the things to emphasize like, and um, and uh, and then they send us the audio back, and then the audio gets turned with music, with you know the 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 uh, the scripting and, and all that. Yeah, yeah. Do you have them? I know the answer is going to be a split test, but I'm at a loss to even have a split test. It, um, and that is the video. Uh, there's a problem with video now with all the mobile users. So back five years ago when bandwidth started becoming available, we everybody made the switch for landing pages and opt-in pages and you know, give away an ebook, whatever. Moved from the four or five bullets that you used to have to video. And video video converted much better. And now because there's such a large proportion of mobile users and mobile users kind of stick around on the video. Yeah. It's not converting, and if you separate your, your mobile versus your desktop traffic, yeah, it's humongously different conversion. Yeah, it's interesting how Agora. We have not tested this yet, but it's on our list to test. It's actually coming up in one of our tests. But Agora has moved to on mobile; they do not display video anymore. So online, you go to that same offer, and you go to VSL first, and then if you go to leave the VSL, they'll redirect you to the long form sales letter. On mobile, you skip, oh, you bypass the VSL, and you go right to long form sales letter. Interesting. Yeah. We've just about finished developing a mobile delivery system that appears as though it's live stream, and so mobile users can't skip over it. I don't know if if, if, if you track it, like on Goo Player or something, or, or Wistia, yeah. you can see that, that mobile users yeah. jump all over. Sure. So we figure out a way to fix that, and we'll have that in about two more weeks. I don't know if that's gonna solve the problem. It may be that, you know, a seven minute landing page video isn't what they want on mobile. I, I don't know. Yeah. But But, the state of the art, so to speak, at least with Agora, is if they're on a, on a... I wouldn't say they're state of the art, but I would just say they're they're constantly, you know, they're, they're changing new things. I, would, I certainly wouldn't say state of the art for it, but yeah. But, but, but what they're doing, what they've learned to do, is if they're on a mobile device, just send them straight to a long form yeah. sales letter. Yeah, which I, 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 I mean, I it, my gut tells me that that is not going to convert better. It's going backwards. You know... I mean, I, look, I, what I will tell you, just a random, some random things, 
you know, is I believe that sales letters, you know, sales letters are experiencing a resurgence, not the old school, ugly, long, with just separated by subheads, but, you know, um, like at Agora, they refer to them as IHTML for whatever reason, I have no idea. And it's just the more graphical um, looking um, squeeze pages, which are easier to write. You can write them in chunks. Um, and they're are many, many examples of those type of sales letters out pulling VSLs today. So, you know, I think, you know, um, even on, on, because on mobile, you, you're limited. Well, on mobile, my belief, time. my belief, my opinion, uh, um, from very limited testing that, uh, that we've done is you don't want mobile responsive, you want a mobile version of your page. For those of you that like, I think many of you, if you use analytics, Google Analytics for your analytics, not your tracking, but just your analytics, um, since it can't do complete campaign tracking. Um, exactly, as we heard today. Um, <laughs> Uh, what was I going to say? Um, I think that you, you'll be amazed at the volume of mobile traffic that you guys are, are getting. And the reality is that even something like ClickFunnels is, it is mobile responsive can bang it up, man. And, you know, like even on ClickFunnels, we, you know, the beauty of ClickFunnels, what's, what is cool about ClickFunnels is you can turn off certain sections on mobile so that it doesn't show up, right? Like, so we turned off our header, like, and just, right? But even a headline can still look wacky, right? It still pushes the video below the fold and like all, all crazy. And so the best thing that we ever did was, and we haven't done much more of this, is we rolled with dedicated mobile pages. So, right, you drop one piece of code on a page, it's, it detects whether you're on a mobile device. If you're on a mobile device, it displays. So when we had the highest opt-in rates for, I think it was Smart Funnel Formula, we had dedicated mobile pages for, and it was beautiful, because it was designed just for mobile, uh, and uh, that's the route to go. Today, at least, not mobile responsive, in my opinion. That, that, it, 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 even that, that new trio landing page that was IHTML, yeah. when you talked, I think, at MTA Live, maybe, um, or, or MTA MFA Live. Live. Um, when you looked at it on mobile, it was very different. Still, yeah, they, you know, it, it's amazing how, like, I mean, there are some, there's, there's stuff that you look at, like, uh, uh, you know, I think, as much as I, you know, I, as much as I've resisted it, I think that we've reached a point, we've far reached a point where you need to take mobile seriously, and you can't look at it as something that you simp simply, um, that like, you have to look at it. it's it's a, it's a separate ecosystem. You know, it really is because things operate differently on mobile, like videos and and uh, and so and tracking for most people, not conversion fly, most people. Um, and and so it really, you know, I, I think we're at the point where, and I think that a lot of you would be shocked to see the volume of people that come to you, uh, especially like right, you, you know. People access, you know, Facebook on their phone. Go Facebook over. Like the majority of my stuff that I when I, I do it on my phone today. You know, like in between appointments or whatever. Like and so. Have you seen a new Google Google AMP? No. They're coming out with a new version of Google. It's like Facebook Instant Articles. It's like all it's a carousel at the top articles that were just printed 25 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. There's there's tweets. There's there's wow. Google Plus posts. If you go to Google AMP demo, you can see it. it's like Facebook Instant Articles. That's crazy. Wow. It's unbelievable, right? How fast things change and evolve. It's nuts. And you got Google Plus posts that are on page one for a keyword like fashion. <laughs> like, you know, like. So they give you that the plus post, okay. Yeah, like yeah. Google Plus, you know, yeah. Yeah. just puts a post on page one. Yeah. Crazy. So when I got back to work, and now mobile has changed everything from the time I left to the time I got back. And, and as, I'm, as I go to new sites, like uh, you know the Silicon Valley kind of startup sites, where you think that they probably know something, you know Slack or, or um, and, and any of those, those yeah. new. When you go to them, there's no information on them. I mean, it's like a, a picture and click here for a free trial. Yeah. You know, or, or, or a one dollar trial, and and, and uh, all of those Silicon Valley new startups. 
from an internet marketing standpoint, I, I'm not typically a, a, a trend follower. I don't know, I can't believe that they have it right. Do, do, do you know what I'm talking about? Sure. If, if you, you go to any of these new sure. you know, startups, there's like no information at all other than click here for yeah. a free trial. Yeah, that's why 90% of them fail. That's the reality. Like, you know, it's, it, it, it's the sexy, right? It looks sexy. It sounds sexy. Everybody wants, you know, that's the dream, right? The, but the reality is that the majority of, you know, the majority lose money. The majority fail miserably. You know, I think um, it's why without, you know, like, it's why. How many of you are, are Gary Vaynerchuk fans? I don't know much about it. I've seen his thing. Don't be afraid. Raise your hand. Everybody's like, "Jeez, idiot, moron." I've seen his new thing. He's like, "Yeah." Um. So I, you know, I like Gary. I think Gary. You know, I met with Gary very, very early on with Sheffrin. Same, per, you know, personality. Like same thing. Crazy. You know, I like him from both from New Jersey. You know. Um. I think very, very talented dude. Like I, I find him very entertaining. I think his advice is horrible, and it is. I think his advice is the the antithesis of what most marketers, you know, need to hear. Because, and this is not because, like, I get it. You know, Gary. I like, and I, 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 I love watching Gary because he's entertaining, right? Like, he's just he's he's he's, he's an entertaining dude. I don't know if you see it. He's got a new thing on Facebook where he's talking about all these people are, are living and working for Fridays. Yeah. It, that, that. Yeah, yeah. I love Sundays because I get up on Monday morning. Yeah, I mean, I, I listen, I believe him. Like, he, he works, he, there's, there, there's no, for the 1%, like his stuff there, there is, there is the nobody stuff, else. No there is, yeah. there is, he is, Gary is the only person, right, I've always said that I've gotten to where I am by sheer brute force, by my ability to outwork the next guy. Gary's the only one that I would not want to go head to head with. <laughs> right? He is not the he is the guy that I, I like because he works like a madman. Um, and I you know and I respect that tremendously and I, I love his story and he's a great storyteller. But here's the thing. The thing is that um, his message is brand institutional advertising, and it's worked for him because he's an extremely talented guy, yeah. right? 99.99% of everybody else on this planet cannot do what he does. That's why he became a superstar with Wine Library TV. He became a superstar with uh, when he went mainstream with VaynerMedia. He's extremely talented. This idea of jump on Snapchat and start firing off snaps or whatever they're called is absurd. Is absurd. And that's why people like Gary is, and it, people love listening to him, right? Like, they're, they go crazy. But show me the people that, whose lives he's changed through the implementation of his strategies. Show me three. Explain and that's not that's not it like I get that that's his gig like I get that and I, he believes it like and he truly right but you know he you know but this idea of like create content record video like 99% of people are freaking terrible on video like and so it's kind of like you know Beyonce telling you, start to record your demo and like get out there, record a video and it, it's not, it's just not, it's the wrong advice. And you know, he, you know, it's, it, it, some, it frustrates me because it saddens me that, you know, he's very, you know, it's not about, you know, like so many things I love, I love his, you know, I love his shtick and his character, and, and I dig it. But you know, he said, you know, it, you know, when he says, you know, even, you know, the what is it, jab, jab, right hook, or whatever, you know, um, and he said, you know, all great fighters, you know, it's all about jab, jab, and then right hook. That's not true, right? That's not true, right? You know, Mike Tyson didn't jab, Mike, uh, right? 
That's and, dinosaurs. Like he said a lot of stupid shit. Where I was just like, well, it's just, it's not, it's, it's just not <laughs> like. Yeah. And I don't like. Look, I, I think he's a great. Like I think there, he adds value. He does. I think his advice for small business operators is horrific. Well, you're like the opposite. The total opposite. I couldn't be because at the end of the day, what his, his message is brand institutional. His message is quad. Don't go for the sale. His right. It's all about relationship. It's right. all about give, give, give. It's all about right. It's all. It's not. A, it's about you know jab, 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 then right hook and give, 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 and then you know your people are going to come to you. They're going to love you. It's about the. It's all. It's the brand institutional advertising message wrapped in a very exciting little guy from New Jersey. And then and then you get the people who come in. They're like, oh, I've just spent so much money doing that. Yeah. That I need something that works. And yeah. I don't have any money to pay you yeah. to do that. That's when you come come here. Yeah. Right, and you guys come to you guys. Your methodology, what that, like, to me, like, what's wrong with you? You know, like, you came up with stuff that resonates with me, yeah. and obviously some other people. Yeah. And, and it's like, you came up with stuff that's beginning of the end. So, what inspired you? What was the it for you that you arrived at this? Um, yeah, first of all, I, you know, I, like, I, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants, right? Like, so in other words, I didn't, you know, direct resp I learned from others and, and paying attention to what's worked. And, um, you know, I have very little other skill sets. And so I bring very little to the table. I like to say I do one thing really well, and that's it. Um, and I think my wife could vouch for that very much. Um, I eat commercials for Pepsi or anything like that, and I never was like, wow, that's amazing, because there's no aspect that to me it's that's a creative endeavor that I just I'm not a creative individual I've never been a creative individual I've never appreciated uh, that uh, you know right wrong or indifferent and so for me when what I did appreciate even though I was never good at it um, and I was never comfortable doing it was I appreciated salesmanship. I loved, you know, my father was a salesman. Like that's what he did. He, and then he was an entrepreneur, you know, and, um, and I just love the face-to-face -face taking somebody from nothing to leading them to a sale. I love the fact that people could do that and that was out there and like and just knowing how to do that and watching people that were charismatic and like dang that's sick. Like that's a sick skill set. Right? It really is. It's amazing. When you could take somebody off the like cold off the, and then they're jacked and they like you and they're buying and they're and you're you know and it's a cha ching it's a very exciting, you know, energetic thing. And so when I saw the fact that, wow, that marketing was different from advertising and marketing was about being able to take this salesmanship and to be able to multiply it and to be able to create a, a marketing piece, not an advertisement, but a marketing piece that you could then mail out to thousands of people and generate sales from that, like have money come in from that, that I was like, wow, where the heck has this been? Like, I love that. And that's what hooked me into, um, that's what hooked me into it. And the thing that, you know, uh, you know, I think that, um, I think that I love the fa I love direct response because I like the fact that it's quantifiable, right? Meaning it's accountable, like it's measurable. It's not, you know, like, you know, at what point on snap, how do you measure whether you're wasting your time or not, right? Like to me, the only way that I, like I'm not in, like you're in this business to generate money. Like that's the reality, right? Like I love what I do. I'm blessed to get to do it, um, right? I do a lot of, uh, uh, you know, but I'm a businessman. That's right, and and so I, to me, it it it. it, it it, it's, I understand at my core that it is a numbers game, that it is numbers, that it's metrics, that it's measurement. And I love the fact that with direct response, everything we do is measurable. I just love the fact that I don't have to do anything and, that, and guess and wonder, am I wasting my time? Is this effective? Is it efficient? Right? Like, is it, is it working? Is it producing the end result that I'm looking for? And so, um, and I also believe that where it, what else is very exciting for me is that I believe that the overwhelming majority of it, um, and you could start to, you don't know, you could start to wrap it up. Like you could start to, yeah, you, you, you can, you could cut it whenever. Um, is a learnable skill. Like you know, there are certain things that I do. I think are intuitive to me. Like you know, I understand. Like from the time I was a little kid, I, I knew, I understood. 
I, I could read people. I knew when, when, like, I knew how to bring somebody back in, I, right? Other than that, everything else is a learned skill. Copywriting is a learned skill, right? Like, you can learn the skill. I learned it. I was not, you know, like, um, c developing big ideas. That's a learned skill. That's not like a creative, it's not creative because it's not, right? All I'm doing is piecing two things together. I understand what, what I understand that may be somewhat intuitive. Uh, I believe that today, more than anything, it is just having enough experience to understand it, but I can spot what is a hot idea. Like, I know what's going to move people, right? Like, that I, I get. Uh, but I believe that that, I truly believe that that's a skill that you can develop. Like, when you pay attention to the market, when you pay enough attention to what people are doing, uh, you do that long enough, you will develop a sense of what's going to move people and what's not. When you become a student of the game, you know, you, long enough, you know, you get it. I know it. And so... But that's what, it, it excites me to, to know that, right? It's why I can look around the room and say, you know, um, you know that any one of you could be the next uh, Jay Abraham, right? Uh, I was going to say Todd Brown, but you want to shoot a lot higher <laughs> than that, believe me. Uh, you know, the next Jay Abraham, the next, yeah, the next Jay Abraham, the next whatever, right? Like, I believe that wholeheartedly. It would not surprise me at, a, at all if I was at your event because it's a learned skill, you know? Um, and, and so it really is. And that's, there are very, very few people, I could count on two fingers, people that I've been impressed with intellectually, where I was like, you know, wow, the, 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 you know, the actual, Rich Sheffern and Jay Abraham are the two people that are, their, their minds operate on a different level. Other than that, most others are, they're not, and so they've got nothing on you, nothing on you. Right? They might have, you know, grit, like when we were talking, you know, they might, right? They might be willing, you know, they're, they're willing, like, I'm willing, like, you know, uh, you know, I, I chuckle with my team, you know, when they're like, you know, so and so was working on a web page and collapsed from exhaustion. I'm like, you guys are fake. <laughs> you know, like, put your big boy pants on, and, you know what I mean? Like, and, um, but I think some of that is, you know, just the ability to work, like, if, if me be, I could work 16 hour, 18 hour days like I did during the launch. I don't want to do that, but some of that is, I believe it's a decision. You know, like, you know, it's not entertaining. Like, it's how bad do you want it? Like, that's why, I, you know, it's a very weird thing for me in terms of, <clears throat> and hopefully this will inspire some of you, maybe, <laughs> maybe not for others. Um, but for me, you know, it's this weird mix of empathy, you know, like, and this just desire for, man, like, I, you know, I f like for clients, and this is stop making excuses and do the work. If you would only show up and do it and not complain about how difficult it is and how... Nobody does that process, you know. I search internet, internet left and right to give me something because I'm kind of anal anal analytical type, okay? So I have to like, reason with something. So yeah. if you burn yourself with spending money on this, this, this and that, like, what the hell? Yeah, but you, listen, you ha you're in the, right? There, you have no excuse anymore. I don't. Right, because you're here, and every 14 days you can get on the phone with me. Right, every every two weeks, and you get on the phone with me. Like I wish I had that opportunity with somebody that would just tell me when I'm off the mark, tell me that with that without sugarcoating it. You can always expect to show up, and I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel without any uh, hesitation. Um, uh, you know what you choose to do in between. Like I had, like look, I had clients that this is right. The 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 funnel that you saw. We didn't even go through pages testing. Emails, 90% um, of it, I did. Me, personally. I could have a T, I did it, right? And I did it over the course of 10 days. Scripts, four scripts, four video slide decks, right? Picking out the music I wanted in there, recording the audios, copy for the web pages, copy for our internal swipes, copy for external swipes. I did it. And then, then there are clients that show up and they tell me they, 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 in five weeks they couldn't get a single VSL done. You do that whole thing in 10 days? 10 days. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I told the team, leave me alone unless it's like, unless the thing is burning to the ground. Don't leave me alone. How much did you sleep in those 10 days? <laughs> um, I mean, I, you know, look, it was not, it's not, it wasn't 
healthy, my fault for, you know, like I'm not, I, that's the way I operate best. I don't like, I, the idea of planning something in four months, I'm like, I can't do that. I wait till the I can't do that. You know, and stuff comes, I need to marinate on stuff. I'm not a fast decision maker. Like I don't like, you know, like when it's like, well, what, what's, what's the, like, you know, like my team will get on the phone and be like, all right, this is the, well, tell me what's the big idea. I'm like, what? Don't work that way, man. Like, hang on a second. Let me the big idea. No, it don't it's just work that way. I need to marinate. I need to let things sit. And um, but that's why I say that there is no excuse. And when I launched the business, when I first, when I launched my very first business, first of all, this this is why you know I, I, I truly I can say that there are no excuses for. There's no reason. Every single one of you guys can grow as big of a business as you want. It's up to you. I started with 850 bucks. Never invested another dime of my own money out of my pocket to this day. I started with $850, that's it. Everything else that I've grown to this day came from profits from the prior everything. 850, that 850 went to a merchant account, went to like a domain, hosting, money in a bank account, never a, a, another, and when I started, I worked full time. I was working a full time job, right? And so, and I had a demanding full time job uh, and that I loved, that was great, right? But, I was working a full-time job. I worked on my business in the morning. I worked on it at night. I worked on it at weekends. And for an entire year, I reinvested every dime back into the business without taking another dime out. So when people, there is no excuse. There is no excuse. And I knew nothing about the internet. Like, I knew how to send email. And that, you know, like, and that was it. But the angle is direct response. The way Always. Exactly. Because when it's the type of thing because with that, you can hold a dollar accountable. You put in 10 bucks, I want to see where, where, what happened to that 10 bucks. That 10 bucks needs to come back to me as 10 bucks or 12 bucks or 15 bucks or, right? Like, and, and that's the beauty, that I could start with 10. Oh, I only brought back three. All right, so tweet, what do I? No internet, like who cares? Like the, like the idea behind it, you can apply it to anything. Of course, when I first started, I started mainly offline doing small space advertising and direct mail with an element online. Right, and so that's like with an element. Of, it's all it's to, because you want to know why marketing is marketing is marketing. The only difference, the, the, the channel might be different, right? But it's marketing. People are people. What motivates people today is the same thing that motivated people 30 years ago, and it's the same thing that's going to motivate people 30 years from now. That's why strategies. That's why I say the most valuable books on my shelf are the ones that are decades old. Our breakthrough advertising, how to write a good advertisement by Brick Schwab, right? The Robert Collier letter book, everything from John Caples, right? These books that are, you know, decades old, right? And people ask, like, they'll ask, is your, you know, they'll say, like, oh, you created XYZ program six months ago. Is it out of date? Is it date? Is it old? Like, I go. Like, oh. Well, I'm doing the topic because I just found myself on the direct marketing idea because whenever I mention that to anybody, I say, like, uh, that's to them, it's, it's like a dirty word. Mm -hmm. But you know who was also very helpful? Brian Kurtz. I kind of befriended him yeah. online and this and that. And wow, like he's so giving such a nice. Uh, well, Brian, you know, he ran. Of the book, yeah. yeah, well, he ran Boardroom. I mean, he ran one of the biggest direct response companies at one point, you know, um, on the planet. You know, Brian, uh, and he, you know, he was responsible for bringing breakthrough advertising back into print. You know, for a while it was out of print. You, you know, a book, you know, again, you know, decades old that was for sale on eBay for 900 bucks. It's you know, available now? Yeah. Because of him, yeah. Yeah. But, huh, how long has that been? Well, a while now, a little while now. Really? Yeah. Yep. Um, you know, I, I'm not, I don't dispute the fact, like, look, you know, Silicon Valley, um, you know, the brand institutional advertising, it's sexy. Sexy. Just because it's sexy doesn't mean that it works. Just, you know, like, not for a small business owner or operator. I don't have, like, I don't, when you're starting out, when, you have eight, when you're starting with 850 bucks or $8,000 for that matter, or, you know, you don't have time to, like, dump money in and hope that it comes around at some point and hope that I establish a brand and positioning. And, and I need to know that when I put out 100 bucks, that that 100 bucks is coming back. Right, or 80 of it is coming back, or 120 of it is coming back. That's the beauty of direct response. And frankly, I don't really care what anybody else thinks. That's the truth. Like, what I care about is, I care about are we successfully you know, doing what it is that we're here to do. And so I feel bad for the people that don't 
um, you know, uh, you know the, the 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 business owners that I have tons of friends that I I have only said to them, will you please let me help you? Like please, you're killing me to see like when you run out of money, right? And you come to me, right? Like don't let me. And they just think that's what it should that's what they should do, and not for the small business operator, not for the small business owner. They need you need to hold every dollar accountable. How much software do you use when you do this screenwriting? Uh, like during live presentations? Yeah, you write on the screen, you uh, Omnidazzle. That's it's free. Right it's uh, this thing. Does it work on Microsoft? No, I think it's just Mac. Yeah, yeah but there's got it. There's, there's tons of that well, kind of I mean, stuff. I, for Windows, you could, if you do go to Web, and I think the PC yeah. has the. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. What else? <laughs> I exhausted you guys. <laughs> we want to give you a break, you know, like I don't more. need. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to. Um, yeah. I'm gonna. If you guys are good, I'm. I'm. I'm good. I will. Uh, you know, crash for. You know, maybe it's seven. I'll probably come down at uh, eight thirty and just chill. And I'm here to. Hang out and answer whatever questions you guys have. Awesome.